a stunning 410,000 total American deaths by New Year's. The latest projection from a group whose predictions so far have been accurate, if not more conservative than actual figures. And the new model shows many more deaths if we abandon safety protocols and far fewer if everyone wears a mask. They're a public health intervention. We know they work. With the election nearing, sources tell CNN the environment is like a pressure cooker inside the FDA, the agency that would ultimately approve a vaccine. As we announce a historic groundbreaking... Since last spring, President Trump has pressed officials to speed up the timeline for developing a vaccine or a therapeutic drug to treat coronavirus, according to sources inside the administration, who tell CNN the efforts are intensifying. I would immediately resign if there's undue interference in this process, says Monsef Salawi, the scientific head of Operation Warp Speed, the effort to bring a vaccine to the American public, in a published interview with the academic journal Science. He goes on to say there has been absolutely no interference. Questions of interference were raised after recent CDC guidance instructed states to prepare to possibly distribute millions of doses of a vaccine as early as late October, a timeline some top public health officials have called highly unlikely. In terms of realistic timelines, we're really not expecting to see uh, widespread vaccination until the middle of next year. A Russian vaccine is showing promising limited results, according to the renowned Lancet Medical Journal, but it has not gone through large-scale human trials, while three U.S. vaccine developers are now in the third and final phase of trial. With the Labor Day weekend upon us, a reality check. The U.S. continues to average roughly 40,000 new COVID-19 cases a day and saw more than 1,000 deaths on each of the last three days. In the Northeast, a single wedding in Maine last month now linked to at least 144 cases and two deaths. And hotspots are lighting up across the Midwest, where some of the surges sparked on college campuses. That our colleges and our universities have plans in place and are taking all steps necessary to keep their students and communities as safe as possible.